A group of males and one female came rolling out of Sunhill. And I said, you all right, Nikki? You seem to be off your face. The disguised voice of our source, the weatherman. He says Nikki McNamara, the main suspect behind Damien Nettles' disappearance, was with other people on Cowes High Street the night Damien went missing. Shirley Barrett walked in between the people that I was with. I remember this so distinctively because Shirley Barrett is the tall person for a female, but she had high heels on that night and she was even taller. Branded a threat to her neighbors. Shirley Barrett is tonight being forced out of the house after a court agreed she should be removed for the good of those living nearby. They've got the cheek to say something to me. You can off, mate. Shirley Barrett leaves court after being ordered out of her house. The 41-year-old is considered such a threat to neighbours, she now faces arrest if she enters Prospect Road after 6 o'clock tonight. When she lived in Prospect Road, Shirley Barrett was said to be in a relationship with Nicky McNamara. So, Nicky McNamara, the guy who is rumoured to have actually killed Damien, he himself is dead, and he died in that house over there, a house known locally as the House of Death. He's not the only guy to die there. His case in particular is pretty gruesome. Nicky McNamara died of a drug overdose. He was found having taken heroin, injected into his back, um, and lay in a bath, dead for two to three days before he was found. And Shirley Bart was in the house the entire weekend. Suspicious circumstances, although the coroner concluded it was an accidental overdose. After his death, an extraordinary revelation about McNamara was passed to Damien's mum, Val. There's emails between the cops and Val about deathbed confessions. We know where he died. He died in Shirley Barrett's bath, where he stayed for a couple of days until he was reported. So there's a deathbed confession. You would like to think that maybe she could have shed some light on that. I've actually spoken to Shirley Barrett. Remember Ivor Edwards, the private detective who helped the Nettles family investigate Damien's disappearance. She told me that Damien was picked up by Nicky McNamara and another guy in Baring Road. And she said if I repeated what she told me, she'd have me murdered. So if this is true, there was someone else with McNamara that night. Someone who might have vital information. Shirley could be the key to finding them. It is a bit of a long shot. I'm looking to find a residential address for Shirley Barrett. I need somebody to do a 192 search for me. We're trying to find Shirley Barrett. Local press reports suggest our welcome may not be the warmest. Incidents of antisocial behaviour were detailed to the court included regular noise disturbance, armed fights and visitors to the property having sex in the street, not her. Other witnesses told how the property was used for dealing drugs and claimed used needles were scattered around the house and garden, even thrown at children. Needles. Needles. Barrett, who has 52 unspent convictions, was also said to fail to control her Great Dane, which fouled the area and attacked people, according to witnesses. She hasn't been featured in the local press since 2004, so she must be keeping her head down. We're on a road that we believe that 
Shirley Barrett is living in, so we're going to do a door-to-door. -door. Really, it's potluck, mm. whether we get her today or not. And if she if she is there and she's aggressive, then what? Depends on what kind of aggression, <laughs> really. We just stand still and try to defuse it, but if she's sounding and acting threatening and dangerous, then we'll just retreat. I think we should be fine. Yeah. If we're not, we'll let you know. Sorry to bother you. I think we might have the wrong address. I was looking for a lady called Shirley Barrett. Oh, no, she don't live here, Mother. She lives over the road. Oh, does she? On the other side of the road. She's right at the beginning there. Oh, you mean on this street? Yes. Oh, mother. lovely. Sorry okay. to bother you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. 50. Must be this one. OK. At least we know we've got our house sailors. And that is a downside further than where we were yesterday. Yeah. Is the light on now? Is there upstairs? Or is yeah. that just me? And she knows we're here. She knows someone's looking to speak to her. Yeah. She's not dancing. She'll think we're cops. I hope so. Maybe a BBC letter. Okay, let's go. She's mm -hmm. 52 on spend convictions. She knows know, the score but... better than we do. Ms. Barrett. We called at your house today, um, but you might not have been in. We called earlier. We don't think that you're involved in Damien's disappearance directly, but you may know something that could help us find Damien. Hi, it's Brona. Hello, it's Brona. Can I just give you a letter, please? I don't want to shout through the door. <laughs> Hi, don't don't be afraid. It's only there's only two girls here. It's only two girls. Yeah. Can I can I just chat to you? What about? Two seconds. Do you remember Damien Nettles? Yeah. He's the little me, boy yeah. who disappeared yeah. 19 years ago. Yeah. And we're looking to help his mummy find him. Yeah. I knew anything, I've had the police around to me about a, a million times. For years, Nicky McNamara has been blamed, right? And so we're looking to talk to people who knew Nicky McNamara as well. Can you tell me if you thought Nicky was a violent person? Was very he ever violent? violent? Very, very violent? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did you ever see him be violent? Yeah. To, to who? Lots Any, of people. Everybody? Boys? Everybody. Girls? We're, we've been told that he was a big dealer in cows. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. Did he deal drugs to young boys? Yes. Do you remember Nothing. talking to the police? Do you, many times. About, about that. Damien? Yes, Did, many times. Do you remember telling them that Nicky McNamara and somebody else picked Damien up on Bering Road? Well, that's well, that's what how what you know what people are like when they say things over here. It's just a story that's carried on and probably got out of hand. And did you remember saying that to police though? Probably. I don't know. I can't remember. It was you know that's, they've seen me so many times. There seems to be a lot of lies and myths surrounding Damien's disappearance and Nicky McNamara and stuff. And we wanted to know if we could use some of the things that you've just told us. Could we pop back and do a little chat with you in some way in relation to, to talking about back then? What uh, do you mean, an interview? Yeah. Would you do one and set the record straight for us? And I've then, been running from this for years. Well, do you know what? Just because I was friends with Nicky Mack, everyone thought I knew all this, and, and I don't know anything. Shirley? I don't know nothing. Shirley, this is your opportunity now to say it. Give us 15 minutes of your time now, and that's it over. All right? Come on, then. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. 
my little I've got my pajama top on and everything. Take five minutes and sort yourself out if my you need it. God. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't care what I look like. I've okay. done nothing wrong. So what? You know, I've, I'm not guilty of anything. Well, one of the reasons that we came to your door is obviously that we're looking at allegations that Nicky McNamara was involved in some yeah. way. Yeah. With the disappearance of Damien. And um, we thought you had a relationship with Nikki. Yes, that was a long time after, a lot longer after. Then he died in your in your house. Yes, I, I don't know about that. No, I th think he might have been spoken to by police before he died. Did he ever mention that to you? No. You guys never talked no. about Damien Nettles. Or... No. No. Where did he pass away? In my bath. How did that happen? I don't want to talk about it, I told you. OK. Now, one of the things we know is that there are statements to police that Nicky McNamara made a deathbed confession. No, I told you I don't wish to talk about. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought And no, you... there was no deathbed confession. Because he died in your bath and he would have said it to you? Or whoever else was there. Who else was at the party that night that might have Who been? said I had a party? Or who else was in the house that night, sorry? Does, I don't want to talk about that. You keep on talking about that. No, I don't, I'm sorry, not talking Shirley. about that. That's nothing to do with the Damien reason. Nettles. What about the suggestion that Nicky McNamara picked up Damien in Bering Road along with another man? We know that information came potentially from you about Nicky McNamara. Do you think you might have said to the police, or...? Well, if, if I did, I don't remember. But also, another thing that was said about me was that I was supposed to have known what field he was buried in. I didn't know anything about it. You know when you were taking drugs together and partying together, was anything ever talked about in relation to Damien's no. disappearance? Never. Never. Never? No. And Never. I've read some of the articles and I have to put them to you because I have to give you oh, the opportunity oh, to I, respond. I mean, I, if... Uh, um, One of them in particular mentions your name in relation to quite a few deaths surrounding you. I mean, that must follow you around quite a lot. Shirley, you're... They've destroyed me outside and inside. I can't do any more. I know nothing. I don't know fuck all. I wish I fucking did. Now they all fucking leave me alone, wouldn't they? Because I tell them, I know fuck all. I don't know nothing. Fucking hell, I wish I did. And then it'd all go away, wouldn't it? But it just won't. And it's, it's all in my head. All these deaths and all this shit. It's, I didn't kill any fucker. They, it, I had a house. It was a drug house. People took overdoses. They died. I am so conflicted about her because we know that she has been economical with the truth in the past. We know that she tells lies about it. Like at one point the camera was off and she admitted that she had lied to police. About quite serious things. And being paid for it. Mm. So what does that tell you? She's a survivor. You know, she's 50 years nearly in that world and she's made it through this far. One of the reasons that we went to her in the first place was that we were told that she had spoken to police and she had said that Damien was picked up by two people, McNamara and one other, on Bering Road. And she U-turned on that, or at least she wouldn't admit that she had told police that. If there was a second person, and that could be any number of the people that hung around with McNamara, some of whom, some of whom are dead. If there was somebody else there that night, then that person might know something. I saw Nicky Matt. Uh, Nick had a young, thin, skinny nipper up against the wall. It wasn't friendly. No, I knew that straight away. It wasn't friendly. He had him by the scruff of the neck and he was holding him up against the wall. 